Hi guys, I'm Samina and welcome to the Cupcake Confession where I show you how you can learn to make amazing decadent desserts and sweet treats. If this is something that you enjoy, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And while you do that, also don't forget to ding this little bell button. That way you will be notified every time I post a new recipe. Today we are learning how to make these eggless strawberry milkshake cupcakes. They are incredibly delicious and they are bursting with the seasonal strawberry flavor. And you guys, the strawberry milkshake buttercream frosting is the stuff of dreams and it is so luxurious and pairs so well with the strawberry flavored cupcake. You have to give this a go and here's how you make this from scratch. You will first begin by preheating the oven to 160C or 320F. Now let's move on to making our actual cupcake batter. So in a bowl with a sieve over it, I have added some all-purpose flour, vegetarian strawberry flavored custard powder, some baking powder and baking soda. And finally to that, I will also add some custard sugar. Now I will pass this through a sieve and this ensures that the dry ingredients mix gets a good bit of aeration. Now I'm going to use my whisk and just combine all the dry ingredients together. Uh, it will come together and look very homogeneous. That's when we'll start adding our softened salted butter. The butter is at room temperature and extremely soft. Um, I have used salted butter, but if you're using unsalted butter, then also don't forget to add a pinch of salt in the dry ingredients mix. It really helps elevate the taste of the cupcake. And now you can see that on low speed, when I'm beating this using my electric beaters, the mix starts looking more like breadcrumbs. That's exactly what you want. Once that stage has been reached you're going to add your full fat milk into this and keep beating it again first on very low speed because you don't want the milk to splatter all around and then you're going to gradually increase the speed to uh, to medium or medium high and keep beating this for about two minutes i like to use a spatula and scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl just to make sure all the ingredients are coming together well look at how lush that cupcake batter is and i'm going to fill this into my cupcake liners which have lined um, a muffin tray uh, I like to fill it a little less than three-fourths of the way because these cupcakes will rise quite a bit but then they will also settle eventually as they cool. So these will now go into the oven at 160C or 320F for about 25 to 26 minutes. A skewer or a knife inserted in the center of the cupcake must emerge clean and uh, once they are ready you're just going to let it cool down to room temperature now we'll move on to making this luxurious strawberry milkshake buttercream frosting so here i have my strawberry flavored milk to that i am going to add some freshly pureed strawberries and some caster sugar i'm going to use my whisk and on low heat i'm just going to mix this until the sugar starts to dissolve and the puree and the strawberry flavored milk all combine well together once that happens what i like to do is is really turn down the heat or even just turn off my stove because now I'm going to add the all-purpose flour and before I turn the heat back on it is very very important to sort of really really whisk the flour rigorously into the milk mix because you don't want the uh, milk to have any kind of flowery lumps when you start heating this back again because this will eventually mean that the frosting turns really lumpy and you don't want that so you're going to really really rigorously whisk the flour into the milk mix make sure that it's a very very uniform and homogeneous mix before you turn the heat up again to boil this mix now as you see you have to boil this mixture for about three minutes minimum because what that does is it cooks the flour out and the raw flour taste disappears and you'll see that the milk mix begins to thicken considerably and that's exactly what you want because it is this thickening up of the pudding that will actually create a nice luxurious creamy consistency to your frosting so once it has reached the three minute mark you're going to turn down your stove and you're going to now transfer this pudding mix into a plate because we now need to cool this down to room temperature what i like to do is pop this mix into the freezer for about 20 minutes so what that does is it kind of really gives a temperature shock to the pudding and instead of cooling it it brings it down to room temperature you can actually just leave it at room temperature 
for about three to four hours or even longer depending on the atmosphere and the environment, um, weather conditions, etc. But I do feel that putting it in the refrigerator or the freezer for 20 minutes works. Once it comes down to room temperature, I'm going to take my softened salted butter and on low speed, I'm going to mix it just until it smooths out. Then I'm going to start adding this cooled to the room temperature pudding mix a little at a time. So first I'll add the first addition. I like to do this in two to three installments depending upon um, how much you're adding in the first go. So after I do that, I'm going to increase the speed to medium and just keep beating until it just comes together. And eventually after all of my pudding mix has been added, I like to first scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl. It is so important because it is possible that stray bits of butter which has not mixed with the frosting uh, will just stay the way it is so I like to scrape everything and now I like to crank up the speed to high and then just keep beating this for about two to three minutes you will see that the frosting will start to look extremely luxurious and now that it's ready I have divided this into three parts and given it different shades of pink because we are going to frost it in an ombre pink frosting swirl so what I have done is I have a cling wrap here and here I'm going to start piping straight lines of the frosting in different shades. So this is my darkest shade of pink and um, you don't have to be precise but it just has to be a straight line and uh, you have to keep piping the different colors side by side. So here is my darkest shade. Once I've added that I'm going to take the medium pink shade and go around both the sides of the dark pink line of frosting and once i've added that the once i've added the second line as well i'm going to take the lightest shade of pink that i have and i'm going to do that as well along either sides of that line and then i'm going to just keep repeating this until i have what looks like an ombre sort of a rectangle of frosting over my cling wrap now this takes a while and it may look intimidating or really really complicated at first but believe me it is so so simple to do this it's literally just piping your different colored frosting in a line now i'm going to take one end of that cling wrap and i'm just going to roll this over and over again because the frosting is really nice and stable and firm you don't have to worry about the different colors merging together and becoming a a uniform mess of any sort you just sort of swirl it that way you just sort of wrap it around and once you've reached the end you're just going to slip that into a piping bag which has the Wilton 1M tip fitted into it you could use absolutely any tip that you prefer so uh, I am going to put it in such a way that um, the open end of that cling wrap falls straight into the the open end of the piping tip so once I have that ready, now it's time to swirl the buttercream frosting over our cooled strawberry cupcakes. So I like to use the Wilton 1M tip as I've specified earlier, but you could use absolutely any tip. You could use a round tip or Wilton 6B. And once I have swirled the frosting over my cupcake, I'm going to fix it with a little cute straw. And as a finishing touch, I'm going to add a little half of strawberry. Oh my God, look how adorable these strawberry milkshake cupcakes look. And they not just look adorable, they taste incredible. I mean, this is literally what you would imagine strawberry milkshake to taste like if it could be eaten in solid form. So now let me just slice into this cupcake and show you what it looks like on the inside because the texture of the cupcake is so important here. I mean, just look at how tender the crumb is, how light and fluffy and just absolutely moist looking. I know it's a very creepy word to use, but just I don't know how else to describe this and it's so incredible. If you have any comments or suggestions, pop them down in the comments below. I post a new recipe every Tuesday and Thursday, so if this is something that you enjoy and if you want to be notified every time I post a new recipe, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you do that, also don't forget to ding this little bell button. I'll see you again next time. Bye!